Reddit is absolutely cracked right now for traditional SEO, AI SEO, and reputation management. And in this video, I'm gonna break down exactly why it's so good for all those items, how I'm using it to get better and faster results for our clients, results I'm getting thus far with the strategies I'm going to break down in this video, and what brands should expect uh, as you start to use Reddit, okay? So, what the hell is up with Reddit? Why is it so good? The three main use reasons you should be using it in 2025 and definitely in 2026. First and foremost, and I think the biggest reason, Google partnership. So Google and Reddit inked a partnership in early 2024, and this quid pro quo, whatever the deal may have been, has resulted in nearly a 5x increase in Reddit's organic search traffic, all from Google. Nearly 1.9 billion visitors a month as of current. Um, SEMrush has it peaking at 2.2 billion at some point, um, looks like in about September-ish, okay? Started at about 400 million in February, pre-deal, now nearly 2 billion, okay? 5X growth, sense of partnership. Reddit is taking up a shit ton of space on Google. Um, specifically, nearly 21 million more keywords now rank in the top three on Reddit than it did prior to that partnership in February, 2024. Again, Reddit takes up more real estate on Google, plain and simple. Think about Parasite SEO, we're gonna get into that more later on. Okay, next up, OpenAI's licensing deal. May 2024, a few months after, three months specifically after Google's partnership, licensing deal with Reddit um, to train their AI models on Reddit data. Perplexity is currently being sued by Reddit specifically um, for bypassing this licensing framework, scraping Reddit uh, basically by way of Google. Okay, curious to see how that plays out. Um, but in any case, like OpenAI basically pay for that up front, they're in the clear. Current estimates are that 10% of AI citations are from uh, around 10%, between 5 and 10 are from Reddit conversations, one of the most cited sources on ChatGPT behind Wikipedia. It used to be as high as 40 to 50% about a month and a half ago. That number has, such, has since dwindled to about 5 to 10%, like I mentioned. I think this is probably the best thing for everyone. I don't think OpenAI should have been training nearly 50% of its data, um, or 50% of its citations should have been from Reddit. I think that was a terrible idea for everyone involved, okay? Now, why does this matter? If OpenAI is training its models on Reddit content, even five to ten percent of it, um, if you have the ability to influence the content on Reddit, you basically get to influence OpenAI's understanding and preference of your brand. AKA, this is going to be a, this is and will continue to be a major pillar of AI SEO. Third, reputation management. Your brand products have bad reviews. Someone goes crazy on a subreddit, and now thousands of people a month are exposed to one-star reviews of your brand, the worst experiences that anyone's ever had with your brand, true or not true, okay? That thread goes viral, hundreds to thousands of lost customers each month. Anytime someone sees that thread, you've, you've lost that customer, unfortunately, right? Now, this has always been a problem, right? Red, people have always gone to Reddit to vent their feelings. However, it is approximately minimum five times worse now, given... Reddit's 5x growth in traffic over the last pretty much two years, okay? Again, if they're getting more traffic from Google and ChatGPT, that means potentially more eyeballs on bad sentiment, bad comments, bad reviews about your brand. Not great. So how can you, how can you leverage it to turn this around for yourself? You can dilute these threads with neutral, like the existing bad threads with neutral slash positive commentary to rewrite the sentiment um, around your brand on both Google and ChatGPT. You can even suppress these negative threads in Google by creating higher traffic threads. Uh, more on this later. Um, optional, and I will leave this to your own moral compass, but you can create negative threads about competitors to cause them reputation management issues as well. I've seen it work effectively. It is not something I'm doing, nor will we would, will nor will we be doing at our agency. But again, we'll leave that up to you and your moral compass. So how am I using it to get better and faster results for clients? So SEO is traditionally slow. Reddit really ramps up the speed on that, okay? Rather than taking six to 12 months to rank, you can create a viral thread using an age account, populate it with comments uh, from other aged accounts and upvotes to drown out any other organic comments that land in there that maybe don't fit kind of the the angle you're going for, right? Maybe they're negative, maybe they just don't, they don't really contribute to the overall conversation and you just wanna suppress them. You can downvote them and you can upvote your own, basically taking entire control of the conversation, okay? now. Rather than trying to rank for men's shirts, as an example, which is super competitive, you should be prepared to wait probably at least a year to rank for that, uh, maybe longer if you're probably under seven figures right now. Um, but rather than do this, you can just rank, create your own thread thread, add dozens or hundreds of comments with age accounts and control the overall sentiment in the thread, right? Um, I actually looked at this specific keyword not too long ago. There's a couple 
there's probably like a couple hundred comments on it. Um, you could do something like best men's dress shirts, right? Add 50 to 100 comments, upvotes, all that kind of stuff. You can now rank number one, number two, number three, potentially for a high intent transactional keyword. And again, I would say people trust Reddit comments pretty highly, even though they're completely from strangers on the internet that they don't know, okay? Now, benefits to this. You are the number one most visible brand on Google because you now rank number one on Google. If you rank number, if your Reddit thread ranks number one on Google, 70, 80% of the comments in that thread mention you in a positive light, you are the most visible brand on Google in that SERP, plain and simple. You also will get referral traffic from Reddit and ChatGPT, right? Um, Reddit will send you some traffic, hard to say how much referral it is. If someone links you in there, that'll be a referral. More often than not, it's gonna be, um, people are gonna see it, search for you, and then you're going to get clicks that way, which is going to drive branded search volume, which as I've discussed, is a net positive for your overall SEO strategy. The more branded search you have, the better off you'll be. Um, as your sentiment continues to grow, the traffic becomes greater on those threads. ChatGPT is going to mention you more in conversations regarding the searches, right? Best men's dress search, for example, you are going to get suggested more than if you were to not be ranking or controlling that thread, okay? Next up, building a moat. You don't just have to rank number one for your target keyword, right? You can now rank number one, number two, number three, and number four, and I have seen it happen many, many times now. If you can rank your e-commerce, your D2C, your Shopify website, number one, and then you can rank a Reddit thread, number two, and then you build another thread to rank number three, now when someone clicks on any of the top three spots, all they see is you, right? This is really good for branded search to control reviews around your brand, build a bunch of positive Reddit threads, add positive commentary. Now all of those negative threads we talked about earlier push to the bottom of Google, right? Using the men's dress shirt example, let's say you rank number one for men's dress shirt, you also rank number two, three, four, and five with four other Reddit threads that you've created and effectively manufactured to outrank other brands, okay? The reason you can rank those so high and so fast is because of the age, is because of the authority, excuse me, of Reddit, okay? You don't just have to compete for number one now, you can literally compete for the entire top half of the search result, which is insane. Customers leave bad reviews, it's gonna happen, okay? As a agency, as a service provider, it is not my business if those are true or not, or if they hold any water. I don't care, my job is to help you suppress those reviews, okay? You can dilute the negative reviews with positive ones, plus upvotes to your comments, and you can create alternative threads that are majority positive to outrank and suppress the negative commentary, right? I've already alluded to this a few times, but again, like, think reputation management at its finest in search, okay? Someone searched for your brand and the first two, three threads about you on Reddit are negative, that customer is never gonna buy from you, right? It doesn't matter what your reviews on your website say, if they see two, three thread comments or threads or even comments on Reddit about you that are negative, your chance of, th their chance of becoming a customer drops significantly, okay? By putting more positive commentary in the way, at least to neutralize it or make it a net positive emotion that that customer feels to you, you have a much greater chance of that person becoming a customer, okay? Now, last up, AI SEO is 80% traditional SEO, whether you like it or not, right? Everyone thinks there's some crazy hack to rank number one on ChatGPT. It's not. The fundamentals of SEO apply, okay? The remaining 20% is answer optimization, competitor and vendor comparisons, list call mentions, and Reddit, mostly, right? There's obviously some other things you can do um, regarding schema and other items, but like, but bulk of that 20 remaining percent are these four things, okay? I've talked about competitor um, and vendor comparisons before in those blogs we write, you know, you versus competitor, competitor alternatives and reviews, things like that. I've covered that, I'm not gonna do that now. Um, listicle mentions via backlink campaigns and also Reddit are our answer to AI SEO, basically those three things, competitor, content, Reddit, and listicle mentions. We're doing all three for brands. With this stack, you are 95% of the way to a full SEO and AI SEO strategy. Yes, there are there are exceptions out there. There's more to do. Are they big needle movers? Or are those other things big needle movers? No, not really, okay? If you can take care of all these things, you have a fully comprehensive strategy, okay? So results I'm getting so far. Um, this is a screenshot of a thread I ranked um, for a local business, um, family friend of mine. We ranked this Reddit thread number three in 48 hours. So 48 hours after I created it, um, it was number three. It's number one by day three, so hour number 72, and it is still number one, and I just checked this th yesterday and also today before I recorded this video. Um, it's still number one two weeks after that. Um, 
before this thread existed, there was not an AI review. Once the thread was made and now ranking on page one, uh, more specifically ranking number one, Google added an AI overview, which I thought was interesting. Don't know if there's a correlation, but I did find it interesting. We also won it, right? All the names are blurred out to protect the client here, um, but we seemingly adding a Reddit thread created an AI overview, and then we also won it. Again, notes on this. It's a small market. It's going to be more difficult um, for an e-commerce brand that's selling nationally, internationally, right? Um, it's also not an e-com example. It's a local business. Um, I'll share more in the future of e-com brands, but it is super easy for local businesses right now. Okay, all we did, created a thread in a local subreddit, like specifically the region that this company is based in. Um, I think I added 20 comments, 15 of them. 15 of them mentioned my client plus other companies, like competitors in the space. Overall, my client in all 15 of those 20 were mentioned in a positive light. The others were neutral or negative. The other five were purely shilling my client as the only option, okay? I added upvotes to all of my comments to float them to the top of the thread. If you look at the thread, all, all 20, 20 comments are mine, and I think there's like seven or eight other organic comments that people added over time. They are the bottom seven or eight comments, okay? This will work. Okay. It, it is working, okay? Again, you're going to rank it on, an, on a national, international scale in an econ niche. You simply need more votes. You simply need more comments and more upvotes, right? Simple as that. Now, what we're doing for brands right now in our agency, 15 to 20 engagements a month on average, plus upvotes to all of those comments to help float them to the top of the conversation, okay? We drip feed these comp we drip feed the comments and the upvotes in. We don't just drop 20 at once and a million upvotes to each. That would look insane, okay? We drip feed it in to make it look as natural as we can. Um, and it's scalable to 100 plus engagements a month for more aggressive campaigns um, or even reputation management campaigns, right? We have some clients that have doubt hundreds to thousands of um, negative reviews. A lot of those ended up on Reddit. Some of those threads are getting 500 to 1,000 visits a month. That's a lot of potentially lost customers. To combat that quickly, we need more accounts doing more, like more commenting, more upvoting, all that kind of stuff, okay? So we will scale that up to 100 plus if need be. Um, these engagements are primarily in existing threads that already have traffic designed to reach and influence the sentiment um, for AI SEO and potential customers, okay? We are also doing thread creation two to four a month to manufacture virality. We create new threads in various subreddits, like relevant subreddits, populated with comments, upvotes, continue adding upvotes to the entire thread to basically increase its visibility in Reddit, which then over time becomes, really translates into organic search traffic from Google, okay? As it picks up more traffic, we add more comments to make it look like it is still a continually growing thread and to really continue combating any organic comments that end up in there that are not a part of our campaign okay if we had 100 comments let's say there are i mean we make the thread go viral other people are going to comment on it okay we need to control the sentiment so we need to have the large majority think like 78 percent of the comments need to be ours in order to really make this thing work for the viral thread creation okay now what brands should expect on reddit it is probably not your number one new marketing channel or silver bullet it is an extension of your search engine strategy for e-commerce brands that want a search engine or AI SEO strategy, but are impatient, Reddit is probably more your speed to start. It's a little bit cheaper, and you can rank in days and weeks, not months and years. Okay, I told you I ranked that thread in three days, number one. Um, think a timeline of more like weeks, maybe two months on the, on the high end, um, but it's very, very possible. Reddit can be a standalone strategy early on in your search engine marketing overall, like strategy um but i will not it probably cannot do that forever okay a true search strategy over time will involve traditional seo reddit listicle mentions backlinks and so much more more as we learn about ai seo get traction on reddit make it work build some threads at rank number one number two number three and then invest more into dominating all of google ChatGPT, perplexity other llms okay reddit's not perfect there are going to be negative comments about you there probably already are that is an inevit inevitable we just wanna control the overall sentiment and get your brand name mentioned more than your competitors, okay? That is how you win over time. Reddit, um, I think right now in terms of like who's best prime from it, I, I think anyone, any e-commerce brand can really benefit on it in a competitive category. Um, I do think specifically supplements has a really good opportunity here. Um, it's super hard to rank supplements, um, especially new brands or brands selling somewhat shady supplements 
testosterone, um, longevity, anti-aging, like that kind of stuff. Uh, again, like I, I know the science is probably sound. Um, public over, like current public sentiment and Google seemingly sentiment as the fact that they're ranking like NAH and like Healthline and WebMD articles, they're not comfortable showing e-commerce results. Okay. However, you can rank Reddit threads right up alongside Healthline, WebMD, NIH. You can get you can get you can market your product that way basically. Okay. Um, it'll be faster than ranking, trying to rank your e-commerce site, and it'll be a hell of a lot cheaper than trying to build a billion backlinks to try and outrank Healthline, okay? We have two sublint clients currently doing this. They are solely Reddit strategies. We are not doing any traditional SEO. Um, so it's working pretty well for them. I'm excited to see where it takes us. Now, what to do next? If you want to chat Reddit and AI SEO for your e-commerce brand, book a discovery call with me. Link is in the description, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.